Well, I chair the representation to the business community, so our goals is to take the business stakeholder uh, results which came out of our uh, pre-day, so our, our agenda on the 16th, and present those to the OECD and then work with the OECD to adopt those and with ministers and governments to adopt those. I think that it continues to grow and continues to actually realize the opportunities that can come out of the internet because nothing's a sure thing. So you want to, one of the, one of the benefits of the OECD is helping to make sure that you take those opportunities and allow them to become reality as opposed to getting sidetracked along the way. Interestingly, it's the exact opposite of the hope, which is that those opportunities won't come to fruition, that you won't include the next billion people, that you won't actually gain the benefits of the internet, that information flows will get closed between jurisdictions, and that the promise of the internet is a lost opportunity. I think there are a lot of topics on who governs and how, how a user gets to exercise choice in the context of internet governance, whose responsibility governance is, and who has responsibility for the governance of the architecture. I think that as we look at the issues that were raised in this conference, more and more of them will be issues that gel at a point in time and aren't fixed issues. So I think dynamic is also one of our challenges because as the internet becomes more dynamic, we understand less of it in advance and we have to understand how to work with it in operation, which I think in many cases makes regulators uncomfortable, but change is here to stay and change is a function of the internet, so I think everyone's gonna have to adapt. The future of the internet, dynamic.